Good boy. Tripper, go. Good boy. Hey guys, how you doing? Joe and Tripper out here in the woods. We drove in a couple crazy logging roads, big backcountry roads to get in here. And then we took our time paddling through two sets of lakes and portaged over into another one. I've got a small backpack on me, the Hidden Woodsman Day Ruck, with a wool blanket. We're gonna search for a good spot to set up camp. I got a tarp to camp under. We'll have to have a fire in front to keep the bugs down. We're gonna pick wild blueberries, spend the night out here camping with each other. Wondering if there's a better spot over here. Come on, buddy. So we're just, uh, I just pulled up on this like peninsula looking thing. Uh, seems like there's a decent spot back behind me to camp, but I figured let's hike down a ways over here. Hey, there he is. Hey, good boy. Let's see, see if we can't find us an even more, more better spot, an even more decent spot to camp. Come on, buddy. You're going in the water. Go on in. <laughs> Whoa, me too. Come on, up, up, up. Good boy. These are all blueberries. Tons and tons of good sized blueberries. Pretty cool, eh? So before Tripper tramps them all, I have to get myself some. But this doesn't look like a great spot to me. Very hilly. So we'll keep going. Keep down, going down the shoreline here. There's a good rock for jumping, but it looks like it just keeps getting thicker over here. Good water, eh? Water's super deep, clear, and cold. Yeah, got a couple rocks, rocky outcrops, but it's looking like the promised land is back where I originally put in. So let's go back, head back over there and set up camp. I got a pretty cool tarp shelter to set up and uh, get out of the sun for a bit. Yeah, this will do. I'll tuck back in here in a little bit. I have to cut some boughs for my mattress. I don't have an air mattress or a sleeping pad, I mean. I have all the gear I need for myself and the dog in this 15 liter ruck for overnight. So I'm pretty pleased about that. pick a lot of these before they get wasted. So I got myself a steak in there. I'm, I also have my fishing pole hoping to catch a trout today. If not that's okay I got a steak. Tripper's got his food. Like I said I have a wool blanket. I got an awesome new axe. A new old axe which was my favorite kind of vintage. This should be a fun night. A little handful so far. Get rid of the leaf. Mmm. 
nothing more flavorful than wild fruit. Those little wild strawberries you can find, way more flavorful than those juiced up ones you get at the grocery store. Same thing with these blueberries. Much smaller than the grocery store, but they pack a wallop. A wallop of taste. This is a nice spot. I'm on some crown land. It means it's not a park. It's not owned. I can pretty much do what I want here. Hey bud, you want a blueberry? Let's try. Here, here. You like, oh, no. Here, try another one. There's plenty, you don't have to sniff with that other one. Here you go. Here bud. Okay. Tripper. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> Starting to look like a real dog, eh? Like a real dog. Let's dive into the backpack really quick. I want to show you just quickly what I brought. It's not going to take a long time. There's not much in there. There's not much room, really. We got a tripper, that's for sure. All right. So again, this is my Hidden Woodsman Day Ruck. I've got a wool blanket attached to the bottom, an axe strapped to the outside, and two, pocket, two pouches. This is an Italian wool blanket I've had for a long time. You guys have seen me use it before. Stick this up in here. Get the axe out. This axe was gifted to me, and I don't remember the guy's name off the top of my head, but I have it written down, so I will tell you in a little bit. This is a True Temper Tommy axe it's really slick it's got the uh little pry bar on the back of it very nice um there's a council tool handle very nicely aged slick axe very slick axe it's a 19 inch did the leather work on it for me too and she's sharp as the dickens so we're gonna have to be careful with tripper around he's no scout you know <laughs> he hasn't learned his uh stay away from sharp objects thing yet but anyway very uh, very nice axe and I will tell you the name of the guy who made it for me very shortly I apologize for not remembering I'm horrible I'm horrible okay so into the meat of the pack we've got a lightweight hammock which is gonna come in handy today I'm gonna enjoy hanging in that just lounging I've got a secondary lens so this is a 85 millimeter lens for my Nikon camera I got a nice t-bone still half frozen which is good it'll stay good until tonight when I want to eat it or I'll give it to Tripper if I catch a fish, or we'll share both of them. That's probably what we'll do, share both of them. Oh, you smelled that one, did you, big guy? I got a pouch from the Hidden Woodsman. This is a Possible's pouch, nice and orange, bright color. I don't know all of the things I have in it, but I have things like paracord, a fillet knife, I have a handkerchief, some sunscreen, some bug spray. I've got um, my main cord to hang up my tarp, fire steel. Just things like that battery or no uh, a little bit of first aid so that's that's a really handy pouch it comes in like i should show you how this all fits in here actually let's do that so everything was in there the stake was just slid in Get your lens your hammock your pouch now look that's about it that's the meat of the whole pack i've got this is my tarp this is a etowah tarp i believe yep etowah gear from ben's backwoods my little sip pad. I got my grill in the back. Oh, and a book. I forgot I brought a book. East of Superior, True Wilderness Stories. So I'll sit in the hammock and read that today and tonight. A little grill. In the side pouch here, there's a little sleeve. I got my silky saw. I got my little baby pillow. Can't go anywhere without my pillow. I've got a little bush chair if I wanted to use it, just to take up extra room. My toque in case. And that's it. That's the meat of the pack there. A little zipper with my little bit of fishing tackle and some butt cream for me so that's all the main pack right like it's a pretty decent setup actually stuff all this in front this goes in there sideways this goes back in this goes back in all this can be slid down the back and all i have left out is my sit pad my stake 
and my lens. Pretty slick setup, man. Pretty slick setup. These pouches on the outside are what make it doable for this size, for an overnighter and a dog. For me and the dog, I mean. Like, I don't want to bore you guys with this right off the hob with the gear stuff, but it is asked about a lot of the times. It's interesting when I have a small pack and um, yeah, I'm not going to do a gear video for this for this trip, so this will be all in the same same video. Um, in the side pouch are integral parts of the camping experience for me. I've got my Nalgene. Check this out. This is the new Scout logo titanium 750 mil mug cook kit. So it's got a bale. It's got the Scout logo on it etched in there. This is titanium. Got the handles, got um, measurement marks, and it's got the little loop on the bale. So we'll cook up a pot hook and uh, be able to cook rice in here, cook oatmeal in here, tea. Um, what else do I have that needs to cook in here? I don't know, other things, definitely. So I'm excited for that, we can boil water. It's got this little um, spout on top for the steam to come up. I'm excited about these. These are for sale on the Bunker Branding website right now. We've got this one and we've also got a bigger one, a pot that that hits, um, that hits fits the Bush Buddy twig stove right in it. So very pleased about these, very pleased. Haven't used mine yet, haven't used this one yet at all. I had a prototype with no logo on it that I've used this one. Is brand spanking new. All right. And it nests the Nalgene. Obviously, it nests the Nalgene nests right inside of it. This is just an old, like, I don't even know what it is. Not Maxpedition, but knockoff Condor. Condor uh, water bottle pouch. Oh, I've got an oak spoon that the gentleman who made the axe for me also made. So, again, thank you. And we'll sh give you a shout out real quick here. And then the other side, this is a Hidden Woodsman pouch, and it, it swallows gear. This is a big old one. I got Tripper's Kong. Trip, what's this? Hey, what's this, buddy? Oh, what's that one? Go get it. That's a floating Kong, so I can throw it in the water for him. I've got batteries for my Nikon, batteries for my GoPro, which I broke the screen on on the way in, and batteries for uh, my headlamp. Just extra stuff. I got some biltong. Somebody sent me this as well. Thank you very much. Ingredients. Beef, vinegar, salt, coriander, black pepper. Pretty good for you. Some spice. Some spice. Some rice. Spice and rice. Can't go wrong. I got a can of soup. That's the other thing I'm going to cook in my in my um, cup. Is a can of soup. This is a organic lentil soup. Very good for me. What else? We got a couple granola bars. Some oatmeal for the morning. Bag of Tripper's dog food. So even if we don't catch a fish, we could still, uh, he's still eating good. We got the steak and the, and the dog food. And then some more tea. So that, uh, as you can see, that pouch really swallows the gear up. Very pleased with it. If you guys are interested in checking out any of this gear, hit up the hiddenwoodsman.com. Malcolm makes all this stuff in New England. It's all American made, handmade. He's a great guy, a good friend and I'm, I'm happy to support him. And we've been working together for years. What are you doing? Where's your toy? You got your toy? Let's see if he'll jump in the water for it. Oh, big boy, drop. Good, leave, leave. Tripper likes his toys. Here, buddy. Tripper, this side. Ready? Oh my goodness. Gung ho. Go and get it. There you go. Swim. Swim, big guy. You know how to swim. There you are. Good boy. Crazy dog. And he's off. Look at the muscles in his legs. Oh my goodness. Look at that, he's ripped. Well, I got a plane going overhead. That's something new. I originally thought I would set this little tarp up back in here in the shade um, between the tree behind you and this one here, but 
I want to have a fire right in front to keep the bugs down while I'm sleeping tonight. I don't have any bug protection. And in order to do that, I would have to rip out all these blueberries or just burn them. And I don't want to do that. That's a little invasive and a little intrusive. So I think up here in the sun is going to be better. And then I'll just hang out back here in, the, in my hammock in the shade. Tripper's already doing enough damage as it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I'll set up up there if possible. And then there's no blueberries right there and it's all sand underneath the duff. I can just kick that away and I'm not concerned about that. So let's go check it out. You're crazy. You're crazy, dog. Come. Come. Sit. Good sit. Uh, maybe next time. I will probably have to add some paracord to it, but if I can get my uh, tarp going from that tree to way over here, I can just sleep in the middle here. It's relatively flat, and again, it's all sand, so it's not a, not a concern. Let's try. This is some uh, reflective cord that I've used forever. I got it when Kyle gave me my Kyle made tarp back years ago. And I like to use it because I can have a long piece of it and it doesn't take up as much room or weight as paracord would. There are some pre-tied toggles. These are old arrow shafts cut down and they make things really easy. I'm just going to tie a taut line. Two on the inside, one. Two, one on the outside, one. But bam, I think there's a shirt somewhere that says something like that. <laughs> All right, that's nice and quick. Let's see how far this bad boy reaches. Bad boy, Let's see how far this bad boy reaches. Almost the whole way. I can just add a piece of paracord on there, it'll be fine. Oh yeah, I forgot, I have my swim shorts packed in here too. It's perfect. Um, that might do it. That piece just might do it. I like my organized paracord. You guys know me by now, right? I don't do any fancy sheet bend or anything. I just do a little overhand together. Call it good. All right. So we'll do the same thing on this side. One. Two on the inside, one on the outside. And then you can just, the benefit of this is you can tighten it easily or loosen it easily. I don't need it too tight before I put the tarp on, then I can really wrench her down. Right ho, right ho. You having fun with that toy, buddy? Glad I brought it. So this tarp is not a normal tarp. It's already set up and cut like the Adirondack wind tarp setup that I really like to use. And you guys have seen me, my original big video overnight bushcraft camp with my dog. I used a normal tarp but set it up in this configuration. This one's already set up. I think I've only used it once before really. corner. I'm going to take that that toggle, that pre-tied toggle on a Prusik and loop it through the tab. Slide that over. We'll find the other corner, which is here. I'll put that through. Man, that sun's hot. Okay. He's eating blueberries. <laughs> I'll pull it tight. So obviously this whole setup needs to be raised, and that's that's okay. I'm glad I put the glad I put the taut line hitch in there. We can just do one of these. Adjust it at the other side too. There she goes. So now 
once I tighten it all up, it should be almost three sided, big enough for the dog and I. I can put a little toggle, let's do that, we'll put a toggle in the middle as well. I'll cut a toggle stick. Okay, I'll break a toggle stick. All I'm going to do is loop the cord, run it through the middle, through the middle tab, and then put the stick in there. Now it'll hold that. I'm going to go cinch this up. Grabbing some sticks off the ground to stake in the back really quickly. Glad that the ground oops, that the ground is uh, has enough substrate on it that I can stick it in. Because underneath the sand is rock too, right? Okay. goes in on a 45 that way uh, there's enough substrate Whew, it's hot stop for a blueberry break blueberry break a blueberry break very blueberry -y. there's a lot of deer flies out right now You can see it starting to take shape. Now we do this. See, this is all rock here. I might have to put a rock on top of this in order to keep it staked in. We shall see, though. That's not so bad. The, pa the back did pull out. <laughs> this little sucker growth maple is right in my spot here but that's all right we'll work around it I gotta get better stakes for the back this one popped out too that's a good stake there there we go it's set up pretty decent but what really makes this thing pop is when you pull out the back tab and you get all this extra room in there so that's what we'll do now there's not really a tree close by to tie it back to I should have should have took that into consideration beforehand, but I kind of forgot. So yeah, we'll tie out from there, maybe to that skinny tree, and hopefully have enough paracord for that. Just makes it. What's good, Tripper? What's good, yo? Okay, let's check out the finished product. There we have it. Plenty big for the dog and I. Crazy dog and I. That side slopes down. So I'll probably sleep like this. The dog can be tucked in the corner or behind me even. Yeah, it'll work. It's hot. It's super hot. So now the next thing I have to do is, like, you can see, it's down, like the duff is very shallow and then there's sand right underneath, so I'm not concerned. Uh, I don't really have to clear out too much. I will scrape away the pine needles and stuff, um, but I do need to, to get myself a bunch of uh, spruce boughs so that I can make a mattress. I don't have, like I said, I don't have a, a sleeping pad. Ah, oh, that was a big bug. Um, ah, you got me good. I might go swimming. I might jump in the lake and cool down for a bit. I'm really warm. It's one o'clock. Been here for a couple hours. There's no one out here. Just got the whole lake to myself, ourselves, which is good. 
Might try to find a, a rock to jump off of, see if the dog will follow me. Hey, big guy. You wanna come in? Here you go, boy. Nope, that's it. I got my toy, and I'm leaving. I want it to be a good step away from my tent, the fire, my, my tarp, I mean. I'm not going to have an enormous fire by any means. Just something to keep the bugs down, something to cook on. see as soon as I get down it's actually mud like clay here it's damp too the sand's all up that side but totally fine There's barely any blueberry plants here compared to back in there where I was going to have it there we go there's the sand Okay, so the gentleman who made the axe for me, his name is Jay Lady, Jim Lady, not Jim Leahy, L-E-I-G-H-T-Y. Anyone who knows anything about axes knows this is a sweet find, an old school type axe that you can't just get anywhere. So thank you very much, Jim. Much appreciated, buddy. It's been nice talking to you in the, uh, in the messenger. Let's go use it. Look at the depth of the grain. Look at the grain, boy. I love it. Back in the woods, away from the water, I found this decent, looks like an old balsam fir. Be good firewood, nice and dry. You can from the, tell from this natural check. It'd be good firewood. But also, oh, there's another one there on a the diagonal. But check this out. This normally grows right by the water. This is Labrador tea. And if you watch my Alone series, I, uh, I used to drink, I, I used that to, to make a bunch of tea. I was by myself for those 10 days. So that's cool too. And then here is the thicker spruce stuff. So I can get my boughs from back in here. There's a lot of just thinner, uh, smaller spruce out there, but this is decent. So I can clear off a bunch back in here. Let's give it a, considering I've never used this ax before, let's chop this balsam first. Let's see how she goes, I'm sure it'll be great. We'll just buck it up into sections. That way it's easier for me to carry back. Always a very good idea to throw the old axe mask. This is a lefty. This is a lefty mask. Are you a lefty, Jim? Always a good idea to throw it in the pocket, not just on the ground. That's a sharp, sharp edge. The head's got some heft to it, especially for the length of handle. But I like that personally. All right. old chip. The bite's good. This is a joy to use. It's a little heavy for one handed to be honest. For little Joe, at least. Okay. Good news is that wood is dry as a bone. A lot of times, balsam fir, when it's dead, will be no good. But yeah, very cool. Very cool. So, because Tripper is not used to things out here yet, I'll remask it, resheath it before I just drop it down to deal with the wood. I don't want him busting his nose off it or anything, licking it, being silly like he is.
Go buddy. Go on. Go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, Jim. All right, that's my firewood sorted. It's not too bad. I can just, I'll, I'll uh. Yeah. That's him wanting me to throw his toy for him. I'll use my silky and buck it up or cut it up later on, or maybe use this depending. But. Uh, yeah, we'll get that over back to the camp, come back for some boughs. I am very warm. I'm very happy to be out here too. I'm glad I brought that toy for the dog. I'm glad he hasn't lost it yet. Alrighty. He's got to be back in here with me. Eh? It's one good thing about him. He sticks right by my side. He never wants to go away from me, which you can't really... Ask for more than that. Okay, here we go. You got it? No, you didn't find it, did you? Took a search. 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 Good. Good boy. Occupy him for a minute. I got my hammock set up. Hey, buddy. You don't, no, you're not coming in anymore. You're too big. Your nails are too sharp. Um, I'm just going to take a little break here for a minute. I'm pretty warm. I'll probably go swimming. Yeah, it's warm. Tripper's been eating the deer flies buzzing around his head, which is kind of funny. Funny to watch. I will bring a hammock on my next uh, canoe trip that's not like a high-paced, high, -paced, high uh, long distance trip. I really missed it on the last one with uh, with Kyle there. We had a lot of downtime and it would have been nice to be able to, cause like, look, you can, I can set it up in such a fashion where I can just sit. Like this is a chair basically. I can lay down as well, rest the back without having to get the, 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 uh, the chair out, like my actual chair. And it's nice to be able to lay down. Very nice to be able to lay down. I never want to camp in this. You know what I mean? I'm not. It's not my thing. A hammock is not my type of thing to camp in, sleep in. But here I'm chewing his thing. <laughs> but uh, for lounging, especially this one, it's super lightweight. I, I found this one in my basement. I forgot I had it. So anyway, well, I'm sitting here. I'll just make up a little pot hook. I got a piece of maple back in the woods there when I was in there. There's not many kicking around, but. You can see I just cut it so that one of the branches coming off, cut that off as a hook part, cut the bottom pretty short, and then I'll leave it about that long. And I can make a couple different um, adjustment sizes so that it, I can I can adjust it up and down. This will be a nice, easy project to do while I'm just sitting here. So I put on, I, I've been having people ask for my uh, PO box for ever since I moved last October. I got one a couple months ago and I put up a community post on YouTube with the address and I got uh, I got uh, so many people like, I got a couple comments like, one was like, greed will be the downfall of man and like, don't you get paid enough from YouTube, you don't need subscribers sending you stuff. It's like, my, my one reply to that was, yeah, I'm gonna get rich off of subscriber pictures and paracord bracelets because that's 90 percent of what i get but that said i appreciate all this stuff and if i can't i can't possibly reply to everyone via private message or comment saying joe what is your p.o box when is you gonna when are you gonna get your p.o box i need to send you stuff um 
so I put it on there. Anyways, I'm telling you now, that's how Jim got my my information to send me this axe, and I appreciate it, and I like it. And I got a couple other cool, really, really cool things. I got uh, something from Australia. I got uh, a couple shirts for my daughters, and a nice alligator bracelet, and oh, sorry, crocodile bracelet, and uh, magnet. A couple really cool things. So I really appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you, Tripper. Tripper. Careful, big guy. You're gonna knock my camera over. Silly. Anyways. It's 100% not necessary. You do not need to send me anything. It's totally fine. This is just for the people who already wanted to send me stuff. I had people set, wanting to send me stuff since Scout Pass, like um, memorial cards and like uh, thinking of you type stuff. And I've, those have flooded in too. So I never put it in a video. I will put it in the description of this video. If anyone is interested, please feel free. And if not, that's totally fine. I'm not asking for anything. Believe me, this is just, again, for the people who have asked. I don't need anything from my subscribers. I don't need money from my subscribers via Patreon or sponsorships or, or donations or anything like that. I have a lot of gear. I don't need any gear. But if you do feel the need or have the want, then by all means, look at the description and the PO box will be in there. I'm not, uh, I'm not hurting, you know what I mean? I don't need anything, I'm good. My family's good, and I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm just making these bird beaks notches in the back. And then the, the plan is I'll have a, another piece of wood that goes down like this, and this will hang on here. And then the weight of the, the billy pot, or in this case a titanium cup, will pull it down, and it'll be good. This is called the Burtonsville Rig. Been doing this for years. My favorite way to suspend a pot over the fire. You got one there, which is probably a pretty good height, and I'll just make another one up here. All you do is make an X with your knife into the wood. Just make an X and then carve out the bottom three sections of the X, leaving the top beak point coming down. You can baton it or you can just take your time and cut it away like I am. Okay, that, there we go. I got two, and I can raise it or lower it as need be. And this is only half of the half of the uh, pot hang hanger, but I can show you the rest after. I haven't made it. I just grabbed this piece when I was in the woods, like I said. I'm happy to have Tripper out here with me. I'm happy to f be feeling pretty good. For those of who don't know, I was in Toronto for 10 days at the doctors at the hospital and I have to go back very soon and get surgery done on the old behind. Uh, they did give me a couple things that have helped a lot, a certain different different kind of cream, the nitroglycerin cream that has helped uh, tremendously and they also gave me these very strong antacid pills for my stomach. Um, I got a colonoscopy and an endoscope, and endoscopy, 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 this way and this way, camera, boop, boop not sedated because I was by myself in Toronto and they wouldn't let me leave after the fact so they did it while I was awake and I'm telling you this way was a lot less painful and intrusive than coming in down through my throat I was gagging and everything my throat's still all raw from it they took biops or they took uh, biopsies I could feel it they, they slid this other little um, tube down in a secondary hole and I could feel them just doop, pull on the inside of my stomach doop 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 little three or four uh, biopsies so that they could take uh, pieces so they could biopsy it and check it out but mm -hmm. but it, it, all in all like I don't have colitis I don't have Crohn's um, everything should be fine then in these pills have help help tremendously they found out that my my bile ducts or my I was creating so much stomach acid excuse me that when I was passing it it was wrecking everything so I've been on these pills for maybe a week now and I've noticed a huge improvement which is thank God it's life-saving I'm, I'm so so happy about that I thank the doctors for, for finding it the right thing to do um, I was begging for a different kind of like different kind of surgery and they said if I got that it would wreck me so they're gonna do a minimally invasive type thing down there and 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 they say that the downtime is only a couple weeks so I'm, I'm excited for that, and with that coupled with these pills, I, I should be on, on the right track. I've been eating properly for a long time now, 
Uh, it just never never fixed itself because the damage was done. But I'm feeling good, and that's nece that's, that's necessary with with Tripper and my family and living up here and 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 continuing on my YouTube channel and doing all these things. You know, last winter I wasn't even able to go out and and do any kind of extended trips and this whole whole leading up to last month a month ago almost today when i was with with kyle out in woodland caribou i was wrecked couldn't do much i was do over little overnighters and have to boot home really quick in the morning um to take care of myself so anyway feeling good feeling really good and that's i can't be happier about that so you gotta take care of yourselves eh? <laughs> oh man trippers coming along Working up to an actual canoe trip with him. This today we only, can, we were only in the canoe for maybe an hour tops between the two lakes that we came into. And he was okay. He was okay at first. He's trying to chase a drag, dragonfly. He got a little uh, antsy, and I gave him that bone, and that that calmed him down too. So he's a good boy. We've been hiking like crazy. If you check out my Instagram. My Instagram handle is Joe Robin at Bushcraft. If you, if you check out my Instagram, there's lots of little videos and pictures of me hiking with Tripper and things around the house and stuff like that, stacking wood, just normal life stuff that I do that I don't film for YouTube. But yeah, things are good. Everything's good. We had family over for about a month. My my mother-in-law and my niece over. So Emerald had her best friend to play with her for most of the summer. Uh, they left two days ago. Tripper, be careful, big guy. They left two days ago. Uh, my brother-in-law came down, and his family came down and spent some time with us. And we had, we took them around and showed them a lot of stuff. And then they drove the mother-in-law and the niece home. So, yeah, back to normal life. Normal life at home until I have to go back down to Toronto for my surgery. But happy to do it. So this is just a, a little intermission on the Stranded series. I will be back to it. I will be, um, Trevor, you're going to knock my camera over, man. Oh, my goodness. Hey, <whistles> calm down. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next week, we'll be back to the part four of the Stranded series. And actually, if you guys, if you haven't noticed or if you didn't do it, you can enter in to be uh, for a giveaway for those titanium mugs. There's the mug in the pot. I'm going to give one of each away. Uh, you have to go to, what is it, the first episode of the Stranded series or the second maybe and say I'm in. I can't remember which, which one I talk about it in, but uh, say I'm in and I'll go back to that and I'll pick a winner and I'm going to, I'm going to tell the winners on episode four so we've had three episodes so far and uh, this this video will come out in two days hopefully this friday we'll take a, a week break on the stranded series this is a video i'm excited to do right now i'm out with the dog people have been asking for it big time so th this is what we're going to post first oh man oh you knocked my camera over bro you knocked it right over Ah, you good? You guys all right in there? Anyways, if you want to be entered into a giveaway for those titanium mugs, um, you can go check that, that video and say I'm in in the comments, either episode one or episode two of the uh, the Stranded series. If you don't want to watch the videos, just look in the comments to see which 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 video says I'm in a whole bunch of times and you'll you'll get the, the gist of it. But um, but I, I implore you to watch the, the series. It, it was a very fun time. The banter between Kyle and I is second to none. <laughs> so anyways, I'm rambling on. Let's go swimming. You can knock my camera over again, bro. So like I said, I broke my Screen on my GoPro on the way in here. Somehow I, I, it fell on a, a rock, but not very hard at all. I was very surprised that it broke. I've had GoPros forever, and this was a brand new one. But anyway, I can't can't bring you in the water with me. So we'll just have to have to do the camera thing from shore. You ready? You want it? Go get it. Oh, 
little slippery. Should have brought some water shoes. They wouldn't have fit in my backpack though. I might go in from the other side. Seems to drop off better over there. Let's throw this for him again. Hey bud, what's this? Hey, come here. Come on. You want it? Come. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Get it. Go. You can do it, man. You can swim. I know you can swim. You can swim. You're a dog. Get it. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, I got to go in on the other side for sure. Freaking Cody Lundin in it up. Dave Canterbury doesn't like me. I didn't even know who he... I, I didn't even know he knew who I was. And now in the past three months, I've had two separate people tell me he's been talking smack about me. Dave Canterbury's worried about old Joe. Isn't that funny? Maybe I'll do a video detailing it, but I don't want to be too negative, but I, I thought it was quite funny. I had no idea the dude knew who I was. Anyway, nothing against him, not at all. Old DC. <laughs> That's one thing, I've never even spoke about him, ever, on video. Okay, anyways, let's swim. Cody Lundin style. You ready? Come on it, come on it. Go get it. Get it, go. Come on, bud. Come. Come on. Come. Come. Come on. You got it. Good boy. <laughs> right here. Go get it. Go boy. You can swim. You're a doggy. Good job, Tripper. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, boy. Come on, man. Nope, he's out. And he's off. Oh, this is decent. Very refreshing. Very refreshing, Tripper. young and you go swimming and you're in there for hours it doesn't stay the same when you get a little bit older in and out does it just fine Woo. oh there's a little froggy a little green frog there it was I'll try and get him to go in one more time let's see if I can throw it far for him Just eating blueberries, eh, man? <laughs> Graceful as a gazelle he is. Good boy. Tripper, drop. Drop. Hey, hey. Good boy. Good boy. Good drop. You ready? Cookie. <laughs> what a weirdo. What a weirdo. Hey, good boy. Come on. Let's do it again. Let's go. Nope, he's out. You got it. Good dog. Look at his ears. Swim I will. Well, Yoda, for anyone who didn't get the reference. <laughs> Explaining jokes, Joe. He's all about the blueberries now. 
He's literally picking, ow, oh, getting bit. He's literally picking blueberries. Those are mine, man. We'll be bogarting the blueberries, bro. <laughs> okay, I think he likes it now. He's waiting for me to throw it for him. You ready? Throwing it farther and farther every time, and he's not hesitating to go get it. He's not crying at me. He's just going to get it. Like a dog. Like a real dog. Good. You got it, man. Come on, big guy. It's a decent distance. Keep on going. I'm getting bit by flies like crazy. Good boy. Good boy, Tripper. Looks like a banshee. <laughs> Good shake. Leave it, bud. Watch out. Tripper. Over there. Yep. He's insane. You know, I used to hate it when Scout cried like that. Now I feel lucky if Tripper, if that's the only thing that Tripper's doing. <laughs> perspective, eh? All about perspective. Okay, that's a decent enough fire pit there for me. I could probably integrate one of these rocks into the uh, the pot hook if I need to, the pot hanger if I need to. I might be able to stick it into the ground over here though. I like to have my fire pits open on the side that's towards me. Makes sense. There's no need for a full circle. I'm just trimming some branches off these trees. I'm not taking any trees down from my bed. Doing a little trim work. Silky makes it easy. I think it's easier. It's going to be easier than the axe because these uh, these limbs are pretty small. Or branches are pretty pretty thin. So yeah, that's my that's my thought anyway. Gather enough to sit on right now. I need to cook lunch up. I'm going to cook that soup. My Amy's organic soup. <laughs> um, and then I think I'm going to go out and try to fish. It's not a good time of day, but it's okay. We'll go see. Oh, that's an old beehive. Look at that old wasp nest. It's, it's empty completely. Old paper wasp nest. I'm glad that it's empty. I'm not over here hacking, hacking into it. Save the thinner pieces for the top. Oh, you're just gonna, okay. Yeah, you go on there. And again, it's not that big a deal this time for warmth. It's more for comfort. We'll still do the herringbone pattern, kind of 
taking the thicker pieces and putting them off to the side and ha crossing the, the, the thinner pieces on the inside gives it a little bit of buoyancy and oops and keeps the the sharp pieces away from you the thick pieces away from you I do need to build up the head part a little bit because it's a little bit humped in the middle but no big deal tripper you gotta back up you gotta back up homie look at this dog honestly what are you doing what are you doing All these little pieces are good to go on top. You kind of weave them in, poking the bigger the bigger sides in underneath the stuff you've already created. And I can always get more after. Like I said, right now I'm just kind of trying to get somewhere to sit. near my camera because it's just this is a breed right just the, the, the drive on them is just out of this world so it's like anything that that he's focused on nothing else matters it's it's kind of sketchy to be honest with you he's good with the baby I'll, I'll give him that he he's very gentle around the baby he jumps over her and doesn't plow her over which is which is always nice she uh she growls back at him he does that growl thing about his toys and whatever. It's not like an aggressive thing. It's just him being like vocal that he wants you to play with them. So whenever he does that around her, she does it back to him now. She's almost one. She'll be one at the end of this month. Crazy. Crazy, right? Autumn's going to be one at the end of this month. Time flies. Time flies, especially when you have kids, man. Okay. Yeah, I'll need a little bit more on here, but this is a good base. Uh-huh. <laughs> these uh, these bows will keep. Drop it. Drop it. These bows will keep some of the bugs down. Hopefully. He's so he's so much he's so much all the time. Okay, we're gonna get a fire going and cook up this soup. So I'm famished. I'll give Trepper his food uh, in the in the boat after I'm done eating when we go fishing. Okay, enough, bud. Enough. I make this as sharp as possible because the ground's kind of sketchy. So we'll see how far she goes in. Make the top of this flat as flat as can be. And straight across. Just is this right here. Boom. Or boom. This looks like a good spot here to stab this in. Yeah, okay, that's in great. That's that's better than I thought it could have done. So make sure it's still gonna sit good. It's kind of high, but that's why you get the second one. In all honesty, I do need it to be over a bit more. It's a little bit too far back. So we'll go here. Yeah, 
Yeah, that ain't coming out. Tripper, leave it. Leave it. Back up, buddy. Thanks. Super helpful. Okay. Right there. Be perfect. I could raise it up if I need to. You raise me up so I don't burn on fire. Alright. Before I get this going, I will get my food ready so I can throw it on and possibly cook it all with just the, uh, oh, that's a big old pine beetle. Be careful. Careful biting that one. Oh. <laughs> His lip is like <laughs> quivering so much getting this guy. He's going to bite you, man. Wow. I'm obsessed with bugs. That was one thing Scout didn't care about at all. Okay. Food time. So again, Amy Soups, couple good things I like about them. Those are my swimming shorts, bro. What are you doing? Leave those alone. Give right. Take two. <laughs> so a couple things I like, other than the fact that it's good for me. It's organic. You don't have to add water and it's the old pop top. So it's good, good and convenient, you know? It's all organic vegetables and lentils and all the good stuffs. All of the good stuff. You smell that, do you? Yeah, just lick that sharp can. All right, there we go. So we'll just have to light the fire, I guess. That's that's the main thing, right? I got these uh, shavings. I got my magnesium slash fire steel. Probably don't need the magnesium. This is from firesteel.com. As long as Tripper doesn't knock this over, we should be good to go here. Scapegoat Tripper. Virgin burn. Having an adjustment pot or an adjustment loop or whatever you want to call it, being able to adjust the height is ideal for sure. Oh, it's hot near that fire, man. Toasty. <whistles> Tripper's in the shade somehow. Oh, there we go. A little bit better. She's boiling. So you can see this pot hanger is very easy to make and kind of fun to do. Oh, she's done. Hey, good boy. Probably have to let it 
cool a bit, I imagine. Hmm, not so bad. I will feed you soon, buddy. You've been eating your bone all day, though. They're a raw marrow bone with fat on the outside and marrow on the inside. And uh, after a while, after a while of him chewing on it, I'll take it and I'll take a stick or like a butter knife or something and I'll scrape it all, all the marrow out. It's got to be good for him. Bone marrow soup is what's recommended for people these days, so I'm sure it's good for him. He's all sorts of muscular. Skinny. Skinny as the day is long. Like owner, like dog. Mm. That was perfect. Little twig fire. Cook this up in no time. Fire's gonna die right down. Just in time for me to go fishing. Or swimming again. <laughs> I gotta cool down after this. Nothing like hot soup on a hot day. He's had a big gay running around. He got all the smile on him, doesn't he? KO'd. Good boy. Right, watch out, buddy. Okay, move. Over here. Come on. Good boy. That's a froggy. Oop. Clean up my pot. Grab some grass. Put it on the ground on the shore. Makes a good pot scrubber. Anything does. Moss. Um, spruce boughs. Rock sand. All good. Okay. Just, yeah. Just get right in here, man. No problem. Thing, man, anytime I move around, he gets up and comes with me. Again, it's not a bad thing. It'll, it'll be even better later on in life. He's going in. There we go. That's a big ol' there he's a nice piece of marrow for him. Good boy. So much for the stick. Say I never did anything for you, big guy. go.
Oh, look at that piece. Bam, son. That's a good one. Cleaned it right out, buddy. Cleaned it right out. Maybe we'll stick your food in there for the the uh, canoe ride. This is happening. Just bingering the phone. Check it out. I honestly didn't throw it down at all. It just kind of like fell off my backpack and hit on a rock and shattered. So it still is usable for this trip, like minimally usable. But I'll have to get a new one. I used it all on the the that uh, stranded series videos so whatever I guess I got some use out of it but but the point I'm t making is that I'm not gonna bring my big camera into the canoe with us just because I still don't trust him to not tip us uh, and if my big camera goes in the water then happy Joe is no longer so I'll do minimal fil filming in the canoe if I get a fish for sure we'll show you but it might have a couple cracks in the screen and that's or in the in the picture and that's why. So I'm warm. I'm gonna put a different lure on. I had a floating X wrap on on the way in and it just doesn't dive half as deep as it needs to. This is a warm day, it's middle of summer, and all the trout are gonna be deep. So I'll put a bigger spoon on I believe. Let's look at my let's look at the fishing kit and I'll, I'll decide what I'm gonna put on. These are fishing lures. These are fishing lures. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you. I love you too, big guy. Hey, good boy. Oh, yeah, he's, all the big... he's very pawsy, very handsy. He likes to paw me in the face. Doesn't feel good, but he means well. Oh, the good boy. Okay, go on. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where's your toy? Go get it. Where is it? Go get your toy. I don't have it. Go get it. I need you to back up from this, buddy. Down. Good, stay. Oh, man. No, this isn't for you. Good boy. Uh... A little Clio has always been good for me. That's a pretty decent size, three quarter ounce. Other than that, I have a deep diver that might work as well. But I think I'll put the, the little Clio on right now and uh, try my luck with that. We'll bring the whole tackle box out there. Should bring my hat too. And put on some sunscreen, I think. This is the floating X wrap I had. Kyle was raking them in. It wasn't caribou on one of these guys. It wasn't the same color, but same size. But we're far away from there. And there was no brook trout there. These are brookies in here, supposedly. Uh, specks, spec, speckled trout. All right. So I will say goodbye to this camera for now. And then I'll meet back up with you on this camera when I get back, but we will bring the GoPro, like I said. Well, he's calmed down, which is very good. Still no fish. I've turned around and started paddling back towards camp. I hugged the shore the whole way around back to the end, and then now I'm cutting straight down the middle, trolling. No such luck just yet. But that's all right. I'm not worried about it even if I don't get one. It is really hard to paddle with just the weight in the front. I can't turn for the life of me. There we go. But I think we're gonna go back and have a little nappy poo. This guy's tired and I could use a little rest in the hammock. Maybe I'll read some of my book. Doesn't sound like too bad of a way to 
spend an afternoon. Right? Uh, I've been back for about an hour. I've just been laying in my hammock reading East of Superior. It's pretty cool. There's a bunch of different stories in it about like close calls on canoe trips and hiking trips and stuff. All very uh, close to where I, I live. Uh, the first one actually took place just outside of Sault Ste. Marie. So, pretty interesting read. Tripper's not really calming down too much. He's still running around chasing flies and getting drinks of water and stuff. He's tried to come into the hammock a couple times with me. Uh, I moved the hammock over here into the shade because the sun had moved, obviously, so that spot wasn't too shady anymore. It's nice over here, nice and cool, really relaxed. Oh. It's uh, 5.30 now. I'm not really hungry. I had a granola bar when I got back. So I'll cook supper up in a little bit. No fish. No fish action, but that's okay. Maybe tonight I can get out and fish some, but that steak will be fine. I got some rice to go with it. Stripper's still got more than half of his food left, so everything's good. Oh, It's relaxing. Very relaxing day. been eating blueberries off the chain here. His breath smells of blueberries. It's better than what it normally smells like. Oh. Good boy. He's doing laps. Going crazy. Hello. You okay? You got a little burst of energy there? <laughs> you only really slept for a couple minutes. I don't know where his toy is either. Well, I about fell asleep in that hammock. It's time to make supper. Clean up all the twigs off these logs, saw them down into pieces, split some. Getting all the branches off makes it easier to cut them into size and also you can obviously use them for kindling. Win-win. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, you leave that stuff there. Leave it. Leave it. Nice check, I'll be able to split it easily as well. Dog. At least he's not taking my firewood, just chewing it on site. What is it? Unless he smells something, I don't smell. There's, there's a definite possibility of bears in the area. We're not on an island, we're on this peninsula. But I know blueberries are kicking right now, maybe, maybe. I don't think so. Not too worried about it, but I'm sure Tripper will keep whatever it is far away. He is on point though. Hmm. What is it, buddy? Show me. Where is it? Come on. Let's go get him. Come on. Come, come. Where is he? What is he? Come on, show me. There's nothing here, dude. What? Come on. See anything? Oh, your butt's in just in my camera, hey? Can you go over there, please? Go over there, buddy. No, no, what? Oh. Yeah, you just chew up that wood there, big, big guy. I've got all my fire prep done. Got a buttload of shavings there. No birch around, so I'm using shavings to strike the fire steel onto. A couple of split pieces there. Fire pit's full, twigs, then I got my fuel. So I think I will get this fire going and then go down and find a couple rocks to rest my grill on and boil up some rice and cook up that steak at the same time. Tripper found his, his toy. You found your toy, buddy. Where's your toy? You found it. Good boy. do one of these. We'll prop this side up completely and I can slide a 
fire underneath there once it's made. I got my feather stick to ignite. Thought I was gonna lose that one. Instant fire. keeping him away from this I'm sure no leave it leave it not for you Tiny little T-bone. T-bone. Got the little stamp on it on the fat there. All right. Pot's dancing, that means it's boiling. So I'll get that off of there, get the rice on, and it's almost time to put the steak on. There's a lot of water in there, more than I need. Ooh, that's hot. It's funny how that works, eh? Oh, look at that. Look at how slick that is. Slick Rick Joe. That should be. That's uh, probably still too much. Whatever. Whatever. Make up your mind. So much. So much water. That's alright. I'll pour some out after. No big deal. Par for the course, eh? Yes. Now he passes out. Now he goes to sleep, right when it's getting to be nighttime. Busting these up so I can grill my steak without too much flame. Oh, I'm so hungry now. Super hungry. All right, we got the pot moved over. It's time to throw this bad boy on. 
good amount of sizzle. Well, no bugs are coming around with this amount of smoke, that's for sure. Too shabby. Ah, I wish I had gloves. I'll bring them next time. We got a little boil over going on. One awesome thing about this cup is that I can just pour the water out through those holes. Just hold the lid down with a piece of wood. If you had gloves, it'd be easy, or if you just wait till it cooled down. But who wants to do that? Let's see where we're at with that. Oh, yeah, lots of water still. Rice cooked. Mm, nearly, about 90% done. And put it back on on some low heat. Yeah, we'll high heat it up. I'm hungry. There we go. Oh yeah, this is done. A little bit more on this side here. Almost, almost done, boys and girls. You're a good boy, Trevor. Yeah, she done. We'll pull it off, let it sit for a minute. Who needs gloves? Me, I do. <laughs> okay, that's a horrible noise. There we go. That was weird. All right, good boy. Watch him here. He doesn't even chew. It's a good thing about titanium, it cools down relatively quickly. Let's check and see the water situation. Oh yeah, we're good. We are good. Fluffy rice. More than enough, plus that steak. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect. Oh, my tummy's grumbling. This is cooled down too. So, 
people always ask me, how do you keep your steak good out all day? Well, it's obvious you have to freeze it the night before. Take it out that morning. Mmm. Mmm. That's a juicy, tender steak. And then it'll thaw halfway through the day. So I was actually, like, concerned. This is still good. That's how warm it was today, but it's fine. Mmm. Mmm. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. Don't eat my food, bro. Well, you know what? I'm allowed to have one. I'm allowed to have one. You know, I have abstained for such a long time. I was driving here and I had to get gas and I saw this at the outfitter. I said, cheers. That's what I said to myself, cheers. So cheers guys, I'm allowed to have one, right? As warm as the day is long. Oh, that's tasty. Okay, everything's right in the world. Mm. He's licking all that juice, all the steak dank out of that bag. Just don't eat the plastic, all right, man? <clears throat> I almost choked there. This is so rewarding. This is so good. Mm. I'm even feeling, feeling generous. Tripper, Tripper, what's this? Buddy, here, come. Chew it up, okay? That's all you're getting. He still has more than enough food for the morning. We're gonna get out of here early. He's got a vet appointment tomorrow. There's something a little wrong with his eye. I think when him and the cat were fighting, not fighting, playing around, she got him in the, the inner eyelid. It's all, it looks detached. So anyways, the only appointment I could get was tomorrow at 11. And I'm about a three hour drive from where I need to go for that. So I gotta get up and out of here in the morning. I'm not even gonna go home in between. Excuse me, my nose is running off my face. Ah. Uh. The meat right next to the bone is super tender, super flavorful. This is kind of reminiscent of a scout trip. I never used to take scout on the canoe only a couple times in the canoe. But that's what trippers for, right? Working up to a actual canoe trip with them. So this is good. Here, buddy. Sit. Hey, too close. Sit. Good sit. Good boy. I'm not gonna give him the bone because it'll splinter. It's been cooked too much. If I slow cooked it for a long time, I wouldn't mind, but that's not the case. Don't want him to get a splinter out here or even at home, I wouldn't give it to him. <coughs> oh, excuse me, it just came out of nowhere. There you go, buddy, that's it for now. Okay, hold. One more little piece here. There you go. There you go. All right, go on. Well, guys. Feel good. Everything feels right in the world right now to me. Out here with my doggy, enjoying what I love to do. Mmm.
I have some trips planned. I got a trip planned with Buddy Mike. You haven't seen him in a while. I stopped at his place when I was down in Toronto uh, on one of my off days when I didn't have a, a doctor appointment. We mapped out an Algonquin route. So September sometime we're going for six nights, I believe. Should be a really good trip. Be long distance. Reminiscent of the old trips. Not just fishing and hanging around, but busting our butts and moving. We will still be fishing. We'll be on some river and some lake travel. And I've got a trip planned with, with Doug in September as well. Dude. So that should be fun. And that's again river and lake travel. 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 Oh, so much rice left. So I'm really looking forward to both those things. Oh, I will be taking Tripper on an extended camp this fall, maybe in October, up to some Crownland Lakes, a little bit north of here, where I know I can stay there for like a, maybe a week. And oh man, he's just destroying everything. And uh, fish for food, build a shelter, hang out, have some fun. Should be a good time. So I got lots, lots in the works, man. Lots in the works. Putting on a course very soon through Course Concierge. It'll be really good online learning course, just basic bushcraft type stuff. Where we've been putting a lot of money and effort into it, and we're going to announce it soon. It's uh, it's planned out big time. It's it's way above my head. They're, they're, they have multiple people helping me with it, uh, with with the with the layout and with the advertisement and all that stuff. So should be pretty good. Excuse me. Should be pretty cool. Going back to my roots, you know, trying to help people feel confident outside, try to help people get the basic skills they need to do this stuff. I only have basic skills. I'm not some kind of crazy bushman. Never claim to be, you know, I mean? I'm not a survivalist. Definitely never claim to be that. Um, I just like camping. And in order to do the type of camping I like to do, you have to have a little ba baseline of skills. You know what I mean? And, and, I've, and I've, I've been doing that. So, time to pass the knowledge on in depth, do things that I'm not allowed to do on YouTube, do things, um, it'll be in video form, PDF, written, um, audio, a mixture of all of them. So, it should be pretty cool, I'm excited to drop it. You gotta take the kid camping, like I said. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff in the works, man. But I'm gonna finish this up. I'll get back to you. Look at the drool hanging from his mouth. All right, big guy. You're gonna get hooked up, all right? You stay there. Don't be greedy. No, no, stay there. Here. Try to chew it, okay? Meanwhile, I'm like, oh, he's not getting any more. I just picked the bone clean. I picked the bone clean for you, big guy. All the morsels. All the tender morsels. Good boy. See this eye here is the, on the his left eye is the one that's messed up. I can see it right now. Good boy. All right, that's probably it, man. Probably it. There you go, big guy. That's all she wrote.
So I've been laying here reading. This is actually quite comfortable. There are some some low spots that I want to fill in. So that's what this last armful of boughs is for. It's not cold at all. I'm still okay. 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 Go over there. Go. I'm still really warm actually. I got all these little tops just to make it softer, make it uh, springy. Dude, you need to go over there, okay? Go over there. Go on. Triple go. Go. Oh, he's all full of energy again. He had that little nap. I'm getting ready for bed. <laughs> Huh? I hear you, man. I hear you. But anyway, this is gonna be a nice, comfortable sleep tonight. There's the bugs have not come out yet. It's 8:45. I'm expecting the, them to come out when the sun goes down completely. Oh my goodness. But uh, anyway, regardless, I still got a decent amount of firewood. And worst comes to worst, I'll bury myself in my wool blanket. It's not uh, not gonna be the worst night's sleep I ever had, I'm sure. Let's see, so I'm gonna open my 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 uh, wool blanket halfway. This is only a quarter. It's been only a quarter open all day. No, 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 no. Back up. And then I will crawl inside it, that thing down, that the half of it down, so I don't. Uh, feel the boughs so I don't get all poked up all night long. Probably just sleep in my clothes. Oh yeah, this is totally doable. I do have a pillow too. Got in my in my uh, backpack. That will just be the icing on the cake. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh. That's more than fine. That'll do. Well, I'm gonna get the little bit of food I have and his food put away for the night before it gets too dark. I did, uh, no, you need to leave that alone. Go. Man. Ah, oh, leave it, buddy. He's a good looking dog, eh? He's lucky he is. Lucky you got something going for you, big guy. So it's a little smoke bath. I'll probably put some bug screen on here. Or bug spray on here too, I imagine. Probably should do that. Okay. I will. You talked me into it. I got my food all in the uh, the other pouch on this side, and then I put it up into a tree. I'm not concerned. Oh, for water this trip, I have uh, pristine drops. That's what I've been doing. I'm just waiting on some water to be done. Got 20 minutes to go before I can drink some water.
Yeah, the mosquitoes are out. They're not going away. Well, the moon's out. A nice crescent moon. No real color tonight. All oh, mosquitoes are out. Oh my goodness, they're out. I get my headlamp out soon. It's just in my backpack right there, but I'll try and read by the light of the fire for a bit if I can. now it's time to turn in excuse me mosquitoes are still pretty bad I'm gonna put my head underneath the blanket and hopefully that does the trick tripper's dead to the world he doesn't seem to care too much he's got his flea and tick medication which prevents uh, worms from fleas they get worm uh, Dogs can get worms from fleas, uh, not fleas, sorry, mosquitoes. So he'll be all right, it might be an uncomfortable night, but no damage will happen to him for it. So, all right guys, wish me luck. Oh yeah, plenty of room. Good night. Oh, this is, this is warm. This is pretty warm. <sighs> Trevor, move. That was a rough night. No, okay. Oh. Buggy, very buggy, not warm, warm for about half the night. Oh, it's uh, six in the morning now, sun's just starting to come up. Fog on the lake. Oh, mosquitoes, they never really died down. I can see my breath. I don't have any sweater or anything. Oh, I had my toque. I completely forgot about my toque. <laughs> water on here now to boil. That's probably plenty of water right there. I'm just going to set it right on this, these logs for tip this morning. Bam. Nice and easy. What do you say, Tripper? Pretty buggy or what, buddy? Just a frog tripper. I'm half using this blanket for warmth and half for bug protection. Ugh. 
sleeping pad I made out of boughs it was fine. Uh, comfortable enough for one night. I let the fire die down probably around midnight. I had two pieces left here. Just threw them on this morning like you saw. That's gotta be boiled by now. No, careful, careful. Here. Tripper, be careful. Come here. I'm gonna go get some blueberries too. Here. Handful there. Oh man, these bugs are not fun. I'll add some flavor to the bland. Land oatmeal. I guess it's not late enough in the year yet to not be bringing a tent. I figured it was August. Maybe the mosquitoes had died down a bit, and they have obviously. And there's no black flies, and I survived the night. You know what I mean? Like I did get lit up. I lit up by bugs on my arms. Oh yeah. Oh my neck. What? It's good to know. Maybe in another month. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed being out here with Tripper. I enjoyed having the steak and the beer. Checking, testing out my new pot. Bringing the small little backpack from the Hidden Woodsman. It's always fun when I do stuff like that. Minimal gear type thing. Even though I have everything I need, you know what I mean? Again, a, a tent would have been nice, <laughs> but, and really, my solo tent is not much bigger than this tarp when it's rolled up. The only difference is the poles. But yeah, the poles would have been, uh, would have been a lot. Mmm. Blueberries really work in there. My back is so itchy from bites. Uh. Mosquitoes have started to calm, calm down now. The humming was so loud at one point, all around my head. It took me a long time to fall asleep, actually. Probably didn't fall asleep till about one, and then I had broken sleep till about five, and then I got up around five, or stayed up around five. Oh, man. Well, I'll finish eating this up, and I'll get packed up, get on out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done a camp like this in a long time. 
And a lot of you guys were asking for tr videos with Tripper. I'm glad to do it. Next one with him, pro. You know what? So I'm still waiting on my files to come back. My 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 uh my external hard drive. They called me and said that it would cost a little bit extra money because uh, or a lot of money because the 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 hard drive itself was like broken. Like they had. What are you doing? It's a frog, man. He hears a frog croaking and he's. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stop. I'm waiting on all that to come back, and when I do get that back, I have my first video, Tripper's first backpacking video already done, ready to go. He's like a fraction of the size he is now in this, in that video. So I'll be able to post that hopefully soon. Uh, it's taken some doing. It's probably been two months now. Craziness, but anyway. That will be a video similar to this, but backpacking and in much colder weather. There was still a little bit of snow on the ground when we hiked in, camped and hiked out. But I'm going to eat this up, deal with the dog, and get on out of here, like I said. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Be on lookout for new videos. Check out. The Hidden Woodsman for the backpack, Ben's Backwoods for the tarp, Bunker Branding for the pot under Joe, for under influencers and under Joe. What else do we got? Thank you to Jim Leite for the axe and the spoon. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah. And thank you. Thank you guys for always watching, being very supportive, sticking with me. Keep it up. There'll be more to come. What are you doing, man? Jeez Louise. Tripper is frog. It's only frog. Boy. Good boy, Tripper. Good boy.